we are not going to only sharpen your ears more hard. Do we are also will practice with your eyes, and this is for daddy and mommy. So daddy and mommy can use this one to point to the words polar bear, polar bear. What do you hear? So this. As daddy and mommy's word pointer, 这是打小朋友也超好用的。<laughs> of course not. <laughs> 我们不给打小朋友。<laughs> okay, so this is for you. We have the boys and the girls. These are for you, and we are going to use these two to point to the words. Palate, palate. What do you hear? Or you can use this purple monster for palate bear, palate bear. What do you hear? So let's have fun with English words and all these fun tools to help you to build up the sight recognition. And this time, this story. Let's try a new way of storytelling. Let's use the ATM way, button up. So let's learn all the words first. A cat says, "Meow, meow, meow." A dog. Well, we have three kinds of dogs. We have small, small, small dog. We have the middle-sized dog. We have the big dog. Okay, we have the small, the little ones. A says yeah, yeah, yeah. E says yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have the middle-sized dog. It says woof, woof, woof. E says woof, woof, woof. And we have the big dog. It says bow, wow, bow, wow. A horse. Now let's try to build up the rhythm, the melody in English. Okay, so now you can say it with me, or you can hear Christiana saying all these words and paying attention to it. Okay, a horse says nay nay nay. A horse says nay nay nay. A cow says moo moo moo. A cow. A sheep says ba ba ba. A sheep says ba ba ba. A goat says na na na. A goat says na na na. Very good. Let's do it one more time, okay? So this time, let's try to say it all together. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. We now learn. Go. A horse says nay nay nay. A cow says woo woo woo. A sheep says. A goat says. Very good. Good job. Okay. I know you can do it. And these are the characters that will happen in this book. So when you open the book, the polar bear. The beautiful polar bear, and then you can see a bear, a polar bear.、Mm. That's here. What a lion says. Okay, a lion, a lion. Because hippopotamus is a little bit 
short. So that's try to say it in a simple way. You can say hippo, hippo, hippo. Lion, lion, lion. Hippo, hippo, hippo. Good, very good. Now, do you see? And oh, look, it's red. So Christiana would like you to do it with me, okay? So when you see the O, then you make a circle with your fingers. Lion! Hippopotamus! Hippo! Oh, you see? There's an O here, so I can make a circle. Okay, lion! Hippopotamus! Hippopotamus, okay? And this is a flamingo. This is a... Flamingo. Flamingo with a long neck and gracefully stand like this. Okay, this is a flamingo. Okay, so that's here. The flamingo. What's the sound? What does a flamingo say? That's a flamingo. That's a flamingo. That's right. And this one, hmm, that is a zebra. That is a zebra. That is a zebra. Zebra, zebra. Say it. Can you <laughs> That's a boa constrictor. So, because this is a little bit hard, so how about let's break it down and say it slowly. Boa constrictor. Boa constrictor. Boa constrictor. Very good. Very good. Even though it's a little bit scary, right? Okay. Ah, this is my favorite animal. That is an Elephant. That is an elephant. That's right. That's Beautiful peacock. 
beautiful peacock. That's a big bird. Worse, worse, what do you hear? I 
hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. Zookeeper? Zookeeper? Zookeeper! Zookeeper, zookeeper, what do you hear? I hear children. I hear children. <laughs> I hear children growling like a polar bear, roaring like a lion, strong like a hippo, fat like a flamingo, biting like a zebra, hissing like a boy constructor, talking like an elephant, snowing like a leopard, and yelping like a peacock, blowing like a wolf. That's what I hear. Wow, look, they are having fun. I hope you are having fun too. Let's go together, read some more books, having more fun with CSU Children's Story University. That is written, teachers will smile with delight when they see this wonderful book and the students are sure to utter familiar requests. Have you got another one like this one? They all look forward to having more fun books like this. That is what you are having the greatest joy in the world, sharing a wonderful story with your kids, with your babies, with your girl, with your boy. The end. <laughs> now, you can have your fun with your kid, with your babies. At the beginning, that is for the sight recognition. I said it that I can use in this. Okay? Or you can do like this. You know, I don't know what it, how old your kids are. Okay, or your kid is. But more importantly, for younger one, they can experience the sound, the beauty of the sound, especially with such an interesting book. So, for example, like you can have the instrument, okay, and with your kids, and you can do it all together. Growling like a polar bear, running like a lion, swimming like a hippo, floating like a flamingo, playing like a zebra. No, it doesn't matter if you can say it or not, or just play the CD, and then do the action. Singing, listening, the reason of English. That is a very beautiful thing too. Just having fun. Then I know it's kind of different in English. There's a beauty. There's a beautiful rhythm inside. Okay, there is a beautiful sound, an interesting story. That is the part that important. You share the joy with your students. Okay, and then. For older kids, you can ask your student to retell the story and put on this retelling hat, which means if I'm a polar bear, I can you know, be a polar bear as a polar bear and retell the story. Polar bear, polar bear, what do you see? Lion, lion. Well, if you are a lion, then you use a lion's voice to retell the story. Lion, lion, what do you hear? I hear a hippo snorting in my ear. Okay, so you can ask your, your kid to have fun. Or you can use a pickup voice. Pickup, pickup, what do you hear? And ask your students to have fun acting with you, the retelling hat. Or you can sing and learn. You see, this is the polar bear. Okay? So, head, the shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders.
look like a polar bear or peacock. Sing the song they know and have fun with it. Okay, or you can train your thinking like the polar bear facts. Okay, so polar bears have have four legs. Polar bears are cute, by the way, because of the global warming. You really, really should cherish the earth and do it every day. Okay, so polar bear can eat fish. Polar bear can swim. Okay, so ask your kid to think about what polar bears have. Polar bear can do. Polar bears are, and you can write down on his book about the facts. And also, if you are familiar with anchor chart, you can make a tree map. Okay, so these are the three activities you can do. Or having fun, that I always like to use the gloves. Okay, so we have a big one and a small one. The big one for you, the small one for your kids, and the, you two can enjoy the story world in your house, okay? At home, having fun with Christiana, Li Zhongyue, 音乐故事会. See you next time. Goodbye.